I wouldn't say that I created Visionary by myself. You know, I worked with farm workers uh, very early on. There was a group of farm workers, and they called themselves Asociación Campesina Lazaro Cardenas, Association of Farm Workers. And they wanted the dream of home ownership. So here was this very ambitious young woman that wanted to be a builder. And you had these ambitious farm workers that wanted affordable housing, but home ownership, the American dream of home ownership. So together, we built this partnership and we helped each other reach our potential and reach our dreams. Well, we were Asocion Campesina Lazaro for many, many years. Um, about 15 years ago, we went from being Asocion Campesina Lazaro Cardenas to Visionary Home Builders. Uh, in today's environment, you know, um, and not today's, you know, back when, Definitely, there was fair housing. And so everybody, you know, that was thinking about the American dream needed to be invited to the table. So our mission, and we are very, very driven by this mission, is that we're going to educate and we're going to get people into affordable housing, whoever you are. Everybody deserves decent housing that lives in the United States of America. And we're, we're doing that every single day, incorporating housing, job opportunities, education, today, even the climate. Baya del Sol is our second largest farm worker housing community. And actually, I got the vision for this sitting in Michoacan in a park and love that the park was so well utilized by the people and that around the uh, park was housing, there was businesses. And so knowing that a, a great uh, part of our community has come from Mexico, they have their values, they have their dreams and their vision, I wanted to give our farm workers that vision. So Valle del Sol, when you visit it, you will see that uh, you drive in and there's a centerpiece, I call it. You've got the play area, you've got um, open space where children can play, and then you've got this beautiful housing, and I hope that our wisterias are out because they're beautiful, you know. Housing in Mexico, you always see flowers. You always see uh, this vision of very colorful, and um, that's what we portray there. In the center of our, our, our uh, community is our Head Start. So it looks like a school as you're driving in with the little steeple. All we needed was the bell up there and it would be the perfect school setting. But very warm and very welcoming. A community, not a project. And that's what we strive for in every community that we built. And this one, especially because it is for our farm workers. This one is Grandview Village. So, you know, for this one here, it's Stockton First Downtown Housing Project. And in this, we addressed food deserts and education. So on the corner of this, of this development here is a grocery store. And also we have our Head Start program, but we took it one step further and we're bringing in a Montessori school, which is first and second graders. The other piece of that is we're in the downtown. So a part of this is the education component because you know, with greenhouse gas emissions, we're, de we're addressing health, and air quality. So uh, this project here, instead of using your car, you know, you can have your car, but the e education in here for the next five years is how do you use transit? Everybody that lives in this project here will receive free bus passes that will help them to utilize the bus. And the bus is less than a block away from here. So we're hoping that they will walk to the bus use it for going to work at least at the minimal. I think we cannot um, get away from 
understanding communities today. You know, we want to pretend like our Hispanic people aren't in communities. And I don't say visionary because we recognize it. We know it. We're the champions that are going out there and saying, hey, you're not understanding the demographics. When we're 68 and 70 percent of the market, what are we doing to make sure that we're addressing their needs as well? So those are things that we look at, you know, what's going to benefit our Hispanic uh, friends, neighbors, you know, to having equity, having success in home ownership, and having success in education. We got to turn those corners, keep turning those corners, because that voice needs to be the highest voice in any community, I believe, in California. Mm -hmm.